Welcome to another exciting episode of Celebrating Act Two. John Cole and I are with our fav favorite philosopher, Bill Jordan. Hey, Bill Jordan, favorite philosopher, how are you? Hey guys, another another quick oversell of the episode, but I appreciate it. <laughs> so, <laughs> a little over the top there. Another spectacular. We don't know if it's going to be spectacular or fantastic yet, do we? Oh yeah, no, uh, be fa fantastic. I'm looking at the. This is just another thing on my to-do list. I'm checking yes. it off. Yes. Well, you know, here's the thing. Uh, you know, we did not too very long ago about writing it down makes it real, and it was a whole thing about lists. And yeah. you know the to-do lists and things, and sure. sometimes we don't even we have the it not it's not even on the list, but if we accomplish anything, we write it down just so we can mark it off. You know, yeah. it's, so yeah. it's not even on a list. But I would I, I submit to you guys today that perhaps we need to, upon occasion, in fact, maybe even every day as we're making a to-do list, to make a to not do list. And I kind of oh. harken back to in my book, in my book, embrace the boom. It went about the whole kind of like keep it simple thing. Yep. There was a quote from uh, martial artist legend and actor Bruce Lee saying, it's not the daily increase, but the daily decrease. You've got to hack away at the unessential. So what I mean by that is, so let's just say today, to not do today, I am not going to speak badly to myself. I'm not going to be negative with myself. I'm Wait not going to. Bill, I, I I don't mean to be rude, but that's a negative of a negative. Two uh, negatives like a positive. There you go, Bill. That's how I. That, that's how I. That's how I operate. <laughs> that's how you roll. That's how Bill I, rolls. I I never I never not going to do that. So um, so don't speak negatively about ourselves. I'm not going to sit in my chair and watch Netflix. For eight hours straight. I get it that we sometimes do that kind of stuff. But think about the things, you know, that we do that we shouldn't do. Yeah. But yeah. we fall into these these habits. And some of it and a lot of it is the self-talk stuff. You know, there's a great there's a great question uh, that I had posted on Facebook not very long ago was, would you like you if you met you? Ooh, that's a deep one. Would you like you if you met you? Or how long would you be a friend to someone if they spoke to, to you the way you speak to yourself? Hmm. These are good questions. But, you These know, Bill, I, I only have one problem with your uh, <laughs> not to do list. Only one. And, and, and yeah, only one. And that is if I did that, it would be too long. <laughs> I, I did. You know, it's easier well, to do a to-do list, quite frankly. Yeah, but they, but 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 they're so consistent, John. Though that you could actually make a tablet and put it in outside your door, so it'd well, be like I, a permanent not to-do list. I, I will say that, given the fact that my to my not to-do list would be longer than my to-do list, it really is a good idea. That sounds like you're bragging now. Well, another another idea that just came to mind, and I don't know if this is true. I was I saw this. It's a, a motivational speaker said this, and he said scientific studies. And I don't know how you would study this, but according to him, negative thinking is seven times as powerful as positive thinking. Ooh, really? So even if you have fewer positive thoughts, I can get this done. I can do this. I'm good enough. I'm this. If you would just cut out the negative speaking, you will improve yourself. Now just that's interesting. Negative. Just drop the negative. Yeah. Well, yeah. and of course we know that's true, whether it's scientific or not. We really do know that um, being negative is a, is a negative thing. Yeah, I think it wasn't it Definitely. Steve Campbell, one of, uh, one of uh, our contributors, who uh, uh, it doesn't always say your, your mind Believes whatever you tell it. Or was that yeah. atomic? Was that at the, ato the atomic book? The atomic uh, atomic habits habits uh, that you would uh, talk. We talked about several times. Your mind believes whatever you tell it. But let's get back to the question because we're going astray here, which sounds like a good time to wrap. Uh, so I think today the question was to do or not to do list. 
That doobie was the doobie question. Doobie doobie doo. But yeah. what I always have on my to-do list is every day to wake up and embrace the boom. You got oh. that right, brother. Amen. I was. I always have my my morning coffee, very very strong coffee, in my embrace the boom mug. So yeah, basically this is targeted for baby boomers, but it's for people of all ages. I wish I had had this knowledge or these ideas or practices back when I was 16 years old, setting me up for more, a little baby smoother adult life. Live your life, forget your age, embrace the boom. How about that? That's good. Well, that, that's what have. Think about all the things you shouldn't be doing. Make and write them down. And then, write them down. And then stop doing them. Yep. Oh, well. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.